scary situation. Keep us posted. Meantime, Metro Police robbery detectives are trying to identify a fast food restaurant robber who might be no older than 12 years old. The young suspect and slightly older teenager robbed a Subway sandwich shop on North Keystone Avenue. Our crime beat reporter Steve Jefferson is at that Subway now where he just met with the manager. Steve? Yeah, this is a very busy time of day for the restaurant, for the subway you see behind me. The manager told me uh, within the last half hour they do have surveillance video of the 12-year-old and that second uh, younger teenager during the robbery here at the subway. The subway is located at 55th and North Keystone Avenue right across from the Meyer store. Now, we are told that Sunday around 6.30, the 12-year-old used a gun to actually rob the restaurant of cash. He had a second robber with him who the manager says was probably no more than 18 years old. The manager says he knew right away that the suspects were very young. Fortunately, no one got hurt in the robbery and Subway customers are concerned that someone so young would do something like this. I got a 12-year-old at home and my 12-year-old, he don't leave out my house unless I say and he let me know everywhere he's going. So therefore, because I got them in sports and activities. Kids need to have activities in their life, structure, posture, and all the above. So therefore, this right here, this is like crazy. It's outrageous. The manager told me they will be sharing that video with the detective assigned to investigating the robbery, and they're hoping that someone could help them identify the 12-year-old. If you can help, you can call Crime Stoppers anonymously. That telephone number is 262-TIPS. Now, police really want to catch these young guys because they're af afraid that they may try this at another restaurant and someone could end up getting hurt. Fortunately, Naomi, no one in this robbery got hurt. Back to you in the studio. Yeah, one piece of good news out of all this. Steve Jefferson reporting live. Thank you.